This year, governments are set to agree on post-2015 sustainable, goal, develop, sustainable development goals, rather, SDGs, and a new global climate agreement. Observers say tackling climate change is an important aspect of improving human lives and could help in achieving the SDGs. They say change in climate affects directly and indirectly the physical, social, and psychological health of humans. The World Health Organization says extreme weather events are becoming more intense and frequent, such as the rise of sea levels. WHO says between 2030 and 2050, climate change is expected to cause approximately 250,000 additional deaths per year from malnutrition, malaria, diarrhea, and heat stress. Joining us now live via Skype from Boston, Massachusetts for more on the subject is Kate Dodson, Vice President of Global Health at the United Nations Foundation. Ms. Dodson, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me, Lenore. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, climate change has an impact on uh, people's health. Can you tell us a little more about that? Well, you already mentioned one of the areas, extreme weather events. Well, I think according to WHO and a lot of other sources have a dramatic impact on on people's health and, and survival. Uh, you can think of things like natural disasters and hurricanes, but you can also think about things like extreme heat and drought. And those might exacerbate cardiovascular disease and respiratory disease, especially among vulnerable groups like the elderly and the young people. Um, you also can see effects like the changing disease patterns, uh, changes in what rainfall and temperature will change how disease patterns spread or things like malaria and dengue fever. So how does, what does this suggest in terms of the way we move forward when it comes to addressing these issues, considering most of the, the, the idea with climate change is we don't have control over it? Well, the reality is that we do have control over it, and there are lots of things that we as everyday citizens can do to help improve uh, our climate and address these major issues of climate change. One is things like transfer, uh, transportation efficiency, clean uh, fuels, clean technologies that we can use in our own cars and the way we get to work, the way we uh, travel around will reduce fine particulate matter and that will have a chance to improve air quality and human health. Another issue is clean cooking technologies. The use of dirty and inefficient cook stoves is a major cause of black carbon and also has a major impact on human health, leading to increased incidences of pneumonia. If we can improve our clean cooking technologies, choose more efficient, cleaner cook stoves, we both can address the, the black carbon issue and the climate issue and the human health issue. So then quickly, when decision makers gather to address the climate change issue, what are we looking at in terms of uh, some of the, the areas that we'll be focusing on? I think energy efficiency and transport efficiency that I already mentioned, that's one major area in terms of mitigating the future effects of, of climate change. And that's one of the issues that uh, will be looked at in Paris when the UN Convention, the parties of the UN Convention of Climate Change will meet uh, and discuss. But they'll also be talking about issues of adaptation. How can we make sure that vulnerable areas uh, have strategies that they need to adapt to changing air temperatures and rainfall patterns that could exacerbate things like drought. So they'll be looking at those issues as well. Okay, Kate Dodson, we have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And that was Kate Dodson, Vice President of Global Health at the United Nations Foundation. And uh, that's all we have for today's health report. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Lino. Be sure to watch uh, for Lino Mudu every Tuesday and Thursday for the latest health news in Africa right here on Africa 54.